Welcome back to Gargoyle Defense, I'm Rob. So these last few days, uh, the incident, the school shooting at Uvalde, Texas, has been weighing heavily on uh, people's minds, especially uh, my own, I have uh, young children. And just, if we talk about the active shooters for one moment, there's a lot of scrutiny right now going on uh, a lot of second guessing, a lot of hindsight uh, criticism going on uh, with the police. And maybe a lot of that's justified. There's some good questions that need to be answered. But as my infantry officer uh, son points out, who he was also a police officer, the fog of war sucks. And I doubt that uh, there's any police officer that I've ever met if he knew that there were children being shot on the other side of the door, wouldn't do something about it immediately. So I think we need to reserve judgment until the facts come out on, on this issue. But one thing I do know for sure, to deal with an active shooter, and there's no easy answer, but the one thing that is certain is you need to turn off the shooter's brain. You gotta render him unconscious in order to stop the threat. When we practice injury dynamics, uh, we have things called coordination sets, and these are scripted strikes to different targets. But then when we do freestyle, free-form fighting, you pick targets that you can exploit. And the reason we do this is because in real violence, nothing's going to be scripted. Nothing's ever going to be the way you practice for all those hours in the mat. But by exploiting the targets as they present themselves, you stand the greatest chance for success. And usually if somebody's wearing body armor, that's, you're really kind of talking about the neck. You gotta hit the neck, maybe start with the eyes, to then render him unconscious with a strike to the neck. But today, we're gonna talk about situational awareness at the gas station. Now the gas station, if you've watched this uh, channel at all, you understand that the gas station is a place where a lot of crime takes place. And so I'd like to do something at the gas pump that enhances my situational awareness just a little bit. And that's generally standing, after I get out of the car uh, and start the, the pump in the tank, I'll make sure the keys, I have the keys in my possession, and I'll start walking around the car. I like to hang around by the driver's side front bumper where I can see everything in my field of vision so nobody can walk up on me and catch me by surprise. <clears throat> and that allows me to look uh, at all parts of the uh, gas station parking lot. And if I have my concealed carry uh, handgun, which uh, according to the president, uh, now he's going to go after those, but you know, we'll see. Uh, every second counts, and so if you have a second or two or more, of advanced warning, you're that much more likely to survive the day. So let's just take a look at uh, what this looks like. All right, so most of us engage in a somewhat uh, necessary, but uh, albeit mundane task, at least once a week, and that's uh, getting gasoline. Painful these days, given the prices. But if you've watched this uh, this website uh, at all, you know that uh, there's quite a few crimes that take place at gas stations while people are filling up the gas tank. And so, given that a gas station is a place where uh, dangerous things can occur, just want to talk a little bit about situational awareness at the gas station and how you might be able to mitigate the chances of becoming a victim through a little bit of uh, enhanced situational awareness at the pump. I did this one AZ for all six sports. Check out the rally. This day on Cali Sports. So, usually at the pump, this is what you see. You're looking at that, and you're looking at that. Many people don't bother to take the keys out. So what I like to do is uh, 
Definitely take the keys out. And then I like to walk around the car as, uh, as the gas tank is filling. And from here, I can see everything that's happening around me. I look a little bit more alert. So by uh, walking around the car as it's filling up and taking your car keys with you, you'll be able to see more of what's happening. If you've watched any of our medical videos, it might be good because uh, when you see what you just paid at the pump, it might need uh, to be resuscitated.